Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Second sentence. He who understands it, comma, earns it. If you're a returner, you probably remember bits and pieces of this. If you're new, you probably have no idea why the word compound. It's the only one that has capital letters in any rule that you'll learn while you're here. And it's because uh, I think it's the key to life. Right? So tomorrow, pay yourself one penny. So there's going to be only one penny sitting wherever you're at for tomorrow. And then here's how we're going to play this out. We're going to double our pennies every day. We're going to double our pennies every day. So tomorrow is July the 1st. It's Thursday. How many pennies are we going to pay ourselves on Friday, July the 2nd? Two. Two. So kind of keep them in a row as if it's a calendar. So one day is Thursday, tomorrow. The stack with two pennies is Friday. So now it's Saturday morning. Can you wake up? It's July the what? It's July the 3rd. So how many pennies, if it were doubling our money each day, how many pennies do you pay yourself on Saturday? Four. What are we trying to do? With our money, what are we doing? We're doubling it when? Every day. Every day. Okay, so wait, how many days have we done that? Seven. Okay, how much is it after seven days? Okay, let's do it for a month. Let's do it for a month. Good, good. Smart people always ask the best questions. The smartest people always ask the best questions. The people that are always talking and never asking a question, those are the ones you don't ever want to deal with in business. And to my, in my opinion, you don't really want to deal with them too much in life. If they already are always talking and they never have a question, then you're going to have a hard time dealing with them because they think they already know everything, right? Seven days, dollar and 27 cents. And I say we're going to play it for a month. And the first question that a smart person should ask is, what? Which month? And so now, I know you know the answer. I'm just trying to help you understand layers of how to ask good questions. I'm trying to help you think of how to ask good questions. Which month? What's a better question? What's a better question? And why is it a better question? There's seven days. That's one week. And I say, how much is it? You guys add it up. It's $1.27. And I say, let's play this game for a month. And you say, which month? And I'm asking, what's a better question to ask than which month? How many days are in that month? Why is that a better question? It's straight to the point, but it requires the person you're asking the question of to be exact. And when you're talking about money, when you're talking about your life, you want to ask questions where the response has to be exact. If I just ask an easy softball question, it's okay. But it's not the best question. The best question is, hey, Buzz, how many days in this month? Because you realize I said we're going to play it out for a month. I didn't say we were playing it out for July. Do you guys see what I'm saying? And so the faster your brain can work as a question asker, the better it requires the answerer to go, oh, yeah, he does know what's going on. What should you be thinking if... The person asking the question said, which month do you want to do this? You want to do it the longest month, the one that has 31, a month that has 31. Okay, so four. We're going to play this out for a month. And you see what the value of it is after one week. How much money you want me to give you and you can leave and you don't have to play the game anymore. How much money do you want? Yeah. yeah. It's a dollar twenty-seven after one week. 
like, I give you $25,000. It's $1.27 after one week. Twenty-five thousand. <laughs> Just twenty-five thousand. So, so it's okay. He's leaving. Not being silly, kind of keep your thoughts to yourself if you're if you're figuring it out. I just gave him twenty-five thousand. Four's out. We just signed Wade to a shoe deal for twenty-five grand. You guys with me? Okay. So now it's a dollar twenty-seven for seven days. That's one week. I've said. We're playing this figurative game for one month in the month of July. That's 31 days. So now, write down the last three. And watch how the numbers change. Day 29, 2, comma, 684, comma, 354, point five six. Day 30, 5, comma, 368, comma, 709.12. Day 31, 10, comma, 737, comma, 418.24. Okay, get your money's worth. So let's just talk about that for a second. What happened to our money every day? It doubled. When did it double? So what changed then along the 31 days? Nothing. Nothing. What didn't change? Yeah, it's doubling. That didn't change. So what is the rate of your investment? That investment is changing how much? Uh, it's a hundred percent return because most adults don't understand this and they get hustled their entire life because they don't understand interest. Okay, so uh, go to the next page and this is what I want you to write down. The rule of 72. Your money will double in the penny exercise how often? Every day. Is that like normal? No. Never. Because the rate that it was accruing interest was what? It was 100%. Every day, the money was making 100%, which is why it went from one penny to, in essence, $11 million. You guys with me? Okay, so this is how you calculate interest rate. The rule of 72, write that down. It's how you calculate interest. So it's 72. Seventy two divided by the interest rate. Seventy two divided by the interest rate. And when you know this number, when you know this number, that's how many years it will take for your money to double. So in the penny exercise, it was doubling every day. That's not realistic. I want you guys to learn what interest rate is. So your, your money is doubling. If you're making 5% on your money, you got $100,000, sorry, and you're making 5%. You're making 5% on the $100,000. How you calculate interest rate, you're trying to figure out how long is it going to take the $100,000 to turn into what? $200,000. And you see how you calculate it. If you're making 10% on your money, it's doubling when? Yes. 
Seven years. Right? Seven years. So which 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 company do you want to invest in? The one that makes five percent or the one that makes ten percent? Of course. Why? It's a quicker return. It's twice as quick. Right? Instead of 14 years, it's seven years. Yes? Okay. So does everybody kind of understand interest rate? Just a little bit. Yeah, and so what you want to do is invest where your money grows the fastest, right? And when you're taking out a loan, you buy a house, you buy a car, what do you want that interest rate to be? The lowest, the lowest possible, right? And you always want to play that game when it's my money, I want the highest interest rate. When it's somebody loaning me money, I want the lowest interest rate. What's happening over here on the left side of the paper? Days. days. And I was talking to you up there on APR. Instead of days, it's years. So what's involved not only with the rate of return, but what else is involved? Time. And what happens with the time? And don't stop. And the longer, right, that you're investing, not wasting, the longer you're investing, can't make up for lost time because it's time and money. It's not just money. Because if you're not doubling your money, or you're not making 5%, or you're not making 10%, and it's just money, then it's just kind of stuck under your mattress at home. You still got it, but it's not making any money. Yes? It makes money how? It has to have what? It has to have time. And what happens with the time, as long as it's a good investment? It grows. And the longer time, as long as it's a good investment, what? It's more money, which is what the penny did, right? It's time. Time is just a part of success as the money. A lot of people understand it but they don't want to get out of bed at three to be training at four, right? So if it applies to school, what's another category that it applies to? Hoops. It applies to your game. It applies to school. It applies to your game. Give me another example of what it applies to. Business. Relationships. It applies to your game. It applies to school, to relationships. What else does it apply to? A specific category. It applies to your body. And then, so, is, are we talking about good compound with the pennies? Yeah. What's an example of bad compound? Eating junk food. Playing video games till 5 o'clock in the morning. And, and so, why is that bad compound? Yeah, because what did Kobe say at the end? You can never catch up. But normally those guys that do it every fourth day, if, if it was their body every fourth day, I eat salads every fourth day. The other three days I eat pizza and ice cream. Uh, every fourth day I work really, really hard on my game. But the three days in between I sleep all day. You got to see how it kind of goes up and down. Okay, so now this is, uh, this is a new category. This is a new category. So we're just talking about time, right? Because a category of compound, you guys said your game, you guys said school, you said relationships, you said your body, you said your brain. I want to talk about time in regards to compound. So it's time preference. It's time preference. And there's two categories. So this is how I want you to write it down. You write time preference and underline it, and then over here, high, and then on the right side, low, and underline it. If high is bad, if high is bad, then what do you think low is? Good. And you guys kind of understand it? 
But this will, I hope, for two or three of you, it will help you be, be more aware of how compound relates to time and how you utilize your time. It's bad because you want it now. It's low, it's good because you want it later. It's high, it's bad, you want it now, that means it's instant. You want instant gratification. It's later, that means it's delayed gratification. So now give me an example of high time prevalence. Eat candy. Good. You eat the candy, and as soon as you eat the candy, what do you, what happens? It tastes good. What else happens? I got sugar. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. So if that's if that's an example of high time preference, give me an example of low time preference. I'm eating a salad. It doesn't taste as good as the candy, but I'm eating a salad. Why? Because it's long term. It's the interest on my body. Right? If I eat candy every day, I'm, I, I get the hit from the sugar right away. I eat a salad, no sugar, but it's for 10 years from now. Right? It's for 5 years from now. And so my body burns a different kind of fuel. So if, if they ate it in the first minute, which type of preference do they have? Uh, ah. If they didn't eat it. What kind of time preference do they have? Low. Low. And, and so the kids that were eating it in the first minute, that means they had lower test score. That means they had more problems. So what changed in their life? We don't know exactly what changed, but as far as their preference of time, it ended up being the same. Right? And isn't that what Kobe was talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Kobe was saying, hey guys, I just all I do is I just wake up three hours before everybody else does. That's all I do. I became one of the best players in the world just because nobody could beat me in compound. Just because I delayed my gratification. Just because I was tough enough to get out of bed. That was it, right? There are other talented players, right? But they just didn't do as much. They ate the marshmallow, right? So uh, what, what, what is your marshmallow, do you think? What's the thing that when it happens, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm eating a candy. I'm eating a marshmallow. Food? Okay. That was kind of an example, right? Not being a jerk, it was kind of an example. Wade took the 25,000, so Wade's marshmallow could be money. It wouldn't be now, like he wouldn't take $25,000 now, but it's because he learned the lesson, right? But now that lesson is over, that time has passed, he missed that chance, right? All of us have a marshmallow, all of us. Not you as a player, everybody has a marshmallow. But when you're aware of what that marshmallow is, like, hey, man, I'm going to eat the marshmallow. If you're aware of it, it helps you. What did we talk about last session? How you invest it. And you can invest money or you can invest time. You can waste money or you can waste time. You can spend money or you can spend time. So then... Everything about compound has to do with time. So if everything has to do with time, whether we're talking about your game, your body, your sleep, how you eat, if it all has to do with time, what do you have to be aware of? How you're, how, how you're using it, right? How you're using it. The whole thing in your whole life, you're going to figure out some level of success, some level of failure will always include time. This guy, in his time in the minor leagues, he took the same deal that Wade took. He took the same deal. He ate the marshmallow as soon as they showed him the money. That has to do with time, right? It has to do with time. 
You want to get strong? It's going to take time. You want to get to where you're a 65% three-point shooter? It's going to take time. And so it's how you use your time, right? And you have to figure out how, if that's my marshmallow, what is my marshmallow? How am I going to use my time? And that's a competitive advantage. How you use your time is a competitive advantage. No matter what it is that you're talking about. Trying to be a coach, trying to be a business owner, it's a competitive advantage. But where people fail is this. They can't show up and do it day after day after day. They understand it. They hear Kobe say it, and they're like, oh, yeah, man, that dude was doing it. But they can't do it because they can't do it day after day after day. And then if you're talking about annual percentage rate, it's year after year after year. But that has to do with time. Days, time. Hours, time. Money, time. Years, time. Your body, time. Your game, time. The decisions you make, time. You guys understand? All right, so this is, I know I try to give you something every time we do this. And Josh had these done, I didn't have anything to do with it. These are cool. This is not your journal. This is like a planner. And it's based on time. Money is like time. Money is like time. Hyphen. I can spend it, comma, waste it, comma, or invest it, period. And then go down a space, and you're going to write three sentences. You can contribute to your future self second sentence you can contribute to your present self third sentence you can contribute to your past, P-A-S-T, self. Then skip down, only two things left and then we're done. Write the number one. What is my marshmallow? You'll misspell it, there's no E in marshmallow. Number one. What is my marshmallow, question mark? How am I going to spend? How am I going to spend my? And then it's the number, remember? 86, comma, 400. 0, 0. 86,400, what is that? Seven. 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 How am I going to spend my 86, comma, Four zero zero today? Question mark. I'm not saying you'll use it. You don't have to use it. All I'm trying to do is help. I'm not trying to just help your game. I'm trying to help your life. And if you only figure out one thing while you're here, and it's the value of compound, your life will be better for it. <laughs> And if you, if, if for some reason you were to make that a habit, it would make you more aware of what? How you spend your time. How you spend your time. And over time, if you're doing that, what do you think would happen to your list? Yeah, you, you would start investing more than wasting. And then over time, what would happen? You would be ahead, and you would be ahead, why? Because it's compound, right? Because it has to do with time. And that's the game that you got to figure out in your life.
if you think that you're just going to be able to do tomorrow whatever Luke texts you, and you think that that's enough, it may be enough for you. But technically, you're doing what every other college player is doing. And if you're saying on your mirror that you wanted to be an NBA player, you're tricking yourself. You're not abiding by team rule number one. Do you guys follow it? Compound is not just money. Compound always has to do with time. The people that have the most money invested in shoes are the ones that never wear the shoes, right? Because they can keep reselling them on GOAT. Yes. You can't resell a pair of nice Jordan, whatever, Jordan 4s that are scuffed up and been kicking cans. But the kid that bought the Jordan 4s and put them on so he could walk to school and everybody goes, oh man, you got the Jordan 4s? But the kid that put them in a box and sold them 10 years later, he made a lot of money. But it was because of time. It was because of time. How are you going to spend your time? It's compound. Always be a great teammate. If you're not a great teammate, you'll never make it here. Because that's all the time. That's touches. That's talking. That's all the things that you know a great teammate does. But it, there's compound interest to being a great teammate because that should happen every day. Everybody got it? You've got to figure out the margin in which you're going to compete to win.